Hi, I'm Rod Runyon, director of Fruit Belt Farm Worker Christian Ministry. Been the director for 20 years, since the year 2000, and retiring now in 2020. Reverend Ray Kaufman, the, premier, the first executive director, was a pastor in Chambersburg and founded the ministry with the three mission committees from Adams, Cumberland, and Franklin counties. We joined in the ministry in the fall of 1990, began visiting in the camps at that time, and have had a really good experience during those, these 30 years altogether that we've worked with Fruit Belt. We felt the Lord had blessed us with the gift of Spanish language, and we heard of this ministry by reading an article in a newspaper. That was why we originally became involved, and we just have come to love the people and the work because we get to see them so often deal with the pe with the uh, individuals and see how they grow and how they change pretty often over the years. Our, our job is primarily dealing with individuals coming from other countries, uh, primarily Latin American countries, who culture is completely different than ours. is to just offer ourselves and offer help in any way we can to the workers. Uh, as they come, the majority don't speak English or they, they have a little bit of English, but they continue to, to come to work and they, they need help in, in various ways, not understanding the, the things going on around them, maybe explain why such and such happened instead of what they would have expected. Also, we have churches visited the camps um, to to build a, an understanding between two different cultures, allow people to see how, although they may be different in many ways, in many, many more ways, they're the same. We have a number of denominations that support us uh, financially and in, in the form of, of uh, donations for for items such as blankets and sweatshirts and, and what we call health kits or comfort kits. And they're, they're, each of those items that they, they collect are really essential for the work. Nancy, my wife, is the ministry's secretary, uh, much more than that, and much more even than an administrative assistant. She does all the paperwork, keeps track of who has donated what items, um, sends out thank you letters, thank you notes, answers the telephone most of the time because I'm not here. She, she without the ministry, we would not or without her, we would not be having the ministry that we that we can do now. But also, Nancy and I have been married for almost 50, 52 years, and we we well we we partner very well. And she's one of my heroes. And I don't think I would be an effective person without her in my life. Nancy and I began training him. I have been driving around with, with Christian, showing him where the vi various migrant camps are. Uh, we still have many more to go. 
but it's, it's an important detail because we have, although we have addresses, we do not, in many cases, have pictures or anything of where, how to get into the camps. And sometimes it's just a matter of recognizing, uh, well, which which gravel road do you turn on, or which tree do you are do you look for to turn next to, and those those kinds of things are important with the way many of the camps are located down inside the orchards rather than being right up along the roads. We really excited for Christian have high expectations for him. He's extremely energetic, extremely intelligent, has a, a love for people that that is obvious whenever he gets around others. We also see that that through him, the ministry has a chance to expand and to grow, become even greater than it ever has been, and that we're, we're excited for that to happen. And as we get ready to retire, we would like to ask that each of you continue to contribute, continue to give um, time and, and resources so that the ministry can go on. We have very high hopes and, and very good experiences with with Christian and can see that the ministry has the opportunity to expand and become much more than it is at the present time. Thank you.